What's up guys, the Lazy Goldmaker here. We're back with the road to 100 million gold, recording this like two days before 10.1 uh, is out. So that's nice. Um, yeah, obviously I've been stacking for uh, the last, well, whatever, two weeks um, since the last episode. Because um, I want to well, keep uh, keep my motivation strong for the new patch so I can spend my time actively doing stuff once 10.1 is out. Um, but uh, we've still done them pretty well. I reposted on most of my realms uh, multiple times. I did slack very heavily on my main realm where I'm doing dragon fight stuff, just because I don't feel there's there's much point um, and not much motivation. We'll take a look at two mailboxes uh, from some of my flipping realms where I had some some cool sales, and then we'll obviously look at the um, the sales I had on Draenor. Um, honestly, not that much there there this week, but um, whatever. We'll we'll get to it. So first off, we have a uh, Darkmoon Fair. One of my battle pet realms, uh, 41,000, just someone buying a bunch of battle pets in the uh, 4 to 9,000 gold range. Um, so it was one good sale day that generated pretty much most of the sales, and then we sold another one like uh, five days later. But 41,000, that's always nice to see that kind of a mailbox, and um, yeah, pretty good. Then the next one, obviously, Les Sentinelles, the French realm where I bought the, the guild bank for 1 million. Which I incessantly talk about. Well, finally we got some some real sales, a hundred thousand gold, um, which is pretty good. One expensive battle pet, and then we sold two pieces of transmog, the lovely red dress for fifty-two thousand, and the talent guard pauldrons for thirty-one thousand. Um, not really familiar with either of those items, and then obviously there was a smattering of other items, some cheaper ones and some in the one thousand, two thousand gold range. But that's pretty good. I mean, that's one tenth of the the gold I spent on that mailbox on that uh, guild bank already made back. So that's something to be happy about. Then we have Draenor on Draenor this week. Uh I was slacking. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's no, no way around it. Um, we had some gem sales and uh, some battle, what not battle pets, legendaries. Legendaries keep selling pretty well, so so that's cool. I didn't spend much gold at all. Um, I maybe should have spent more like a little while ago because the resonant crystals, which I did invest a little bit, then I've already gone up massively in price. Uh, I bought at 300 and it's like 700 gold now, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with the patch. I'm going to keep mine for the moment. But um, yeah, sold some ba some some gems and some legendaries. That's pretty much it. I didn't repost much at all. Um, so I haven't played that much WoW well the um, the last uh, two weeks. But I mean, that's what we'll be diving into now that ten point one is out or gonna be out in in two days in EU. Um, so that so that's it for the for the for the mailboxes that are interesting to look at. Where does that leave us on the overall numbers? Well, uh, we're up. We're up three hundred. 300,000 gold in sales this week, which is obviously a little bit on the low side. Um, my off realms are good. We had 200,000 on those, which is pretty good. Uh, a little bit better than last week, but not much. Um, and then obviously on Draenor, I just very slacked pretty hard. But we do see green numbers in pretty much every realm, up 288,000 gold. Um, so, so not a bad two-week period. Not a bad two-week period. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, um, hopefully I'll be, I have some, some ideas. I'm going to change some stuff around for, for 10.1. Specifically, I'm planning to focus on, um, on crafting orders early. I have some ideas. Uh, I, I guess I have to bite the, the bullet and get into the actually p potentially profitable stuff in this, uh, in this expansion. Um, so that's what I'll be going for. I'll also try to be getting some of the new recipes. There are some pretty cool new recipes that I want to get early. Um, so hopefully we can um, go as hard as possible on the launch day and, and get in, essentially. That's the that's the plan, at least. And then ho we can hopefully actually accelerate on Draenor for once. Um, either way, we'll we'll see what the, what the patch brings when it comes out. I'm excited. We should see uh, a significant increase in sales across the board in most like Dragonflight level markets, and hopefully, I can utilize that to to push for the last five million I need. That's it, guys. We'll see you on the next one, which is going to be a lot more exciting. I mean, have I screwed up again, like I did at Dragonflight launch, or will I actually finally find something to give me consistent success in Dragonflight? <laughs> well, tune in to find out.